new videos every day. Life, wisdom, psyche truth, massage. Hi everybody, this is Gregory Gorey with bodyworkmasters.com and today we're going to be doing some abdominal work. We're going to treat the uh, rectus abdominis, the internal and external obliques, and the diaphragm. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is just a little light fascial work and we're going to stretch this out a little bit and this is kind of like melting taffy. We're just hanging out until you start to feel a little tissue release. By the way, if you have any um, comments about what uh, sorts of massage techniques you'd like covered or would like more information on, please feel free to leave a comment below and let us know. So there I'm starting to get a little release. You can hang out with us for longer, but we're going to go and do the opposite side. And just melting some taffy, waiting to feel the tissue start to lengthen underneath your hands. Good. From there, we're going to actually uh, manually treat uh, the rectus abdominis. Uh, it actually inserts right up here on the sternum. So, getting that, and we're going to come down. Uh, it, it comes straight down. This is your six, six pack. It also inserts at the base right on top of the um, oh, What is the word that I'm looking for? Um, you'll feel a boning landmark right here Good, so now that we've released the origin and insertion I'm going to anchor and I'm going to take this hand and I'm going to just sweep this out um, you, it's important to have the hand be there as an anchor so that you don't just press through the tissue. You want to, uh, it to be taut so that you can pull that through. So coming down to the belly button, and we're going to come to the belly button and pull this out. You have to check in with your client. Can be a little tender, can be a little goose bumpy. Good. Same thing on the other side. Pubic symphysis, that's what the word I was looking for. It inserts onto the pubic symphysis. So as we're coming down, anchoring, anchoring again. Good. We're going to apply the same sort of uh, concept with the external obliques. External obliques run this way, their fingers coming down this way. Internal obliques run in the opposite direction. So we're going to come, we're going to anchor onto the rib cage here, and I'm kind of blocking the camera. I'll do it from the other side too. Uh, but that's external obliques, I think probably a better camera angle from over here. Locking onto the tissue where it inserts and scooping that out. Good. From there we're going to get into the internal obliques and scooping out this way. And coming this way. Okay, so that's internal, external, and rectus abdominis. Now we're going to release the diaphragm. Uh, you can do this in a couple of ways. <clears throat> uh, the first way is you can actually uh, just do a kind of a compressive force. So I'm going to take, and I'm going to uh, compress the rib cage here. I'm going to have you take a big breath in. 
good and let it out and as she exhales I can press a little bit more another big breath in and relax check in this isn't painful right okay it can be if it is stop and one more time big breath and on the exhale I can press a little bit more good you can also come and uh, reach underneath the rib cage and try to get into it. You'll need short fingernails if you're going to attempt this, and you definitely need to check in because uh, as you're getting in there, you're going to be coming up against uh, the liver on this side and uh, the stomach on that side. So, again, if it's tender, um, you know, back off. It's it's kind of an advanced technique. So I'm going to create a little space by moving this tissue um, down and in and with my other hand I'm going to scoop up and just try to affect the diaphragm. Now you want to be careful um, as you're coming up right where the rib cage meets, there's something called uh, the uh, xiphoid process, and that's a little bony landmark that sticks out um, at the bottom of your sternum, and you don't want to be pressing directly down into that because that can cause some tissue damage. So I'm going to come to the other side, I'm going to scoop, this hand brings the rib cage in, creates a little um, laxity that you can then take your other hand and scoop out. Again, can be tender. Good. And while we're here, that's that's uh, all the uh, superficial muscles. There are obviously other muscles that we could get into, um, so as iliacus. So uh, from here, we've done all the superficial tissues. Now we're actually going to um, do some uh, visceral work. Uh, the large colon comes up and across just over the belly button and then descends down. And when you're doing this massage, you always want to be moving in that direction in the area of evacuation rather than uh, counterclockwise. So we're gonna have a little lotion. And we're just coming in bringing sometimes if somebody if you're working on somebody that's really constipated you can actually feel little hard spots I don't feel anything like that here but you can just encourage the move, movement of the large intestine by manually pushing all that tissue through That's coming across, feeling to see if you feel any hard spots underneath your fingers, and if you do, then you can just spend a little extra time pushing that through. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and check us out at bodyworkmasters.com.